we are going to do a jump circle thing <laughs> and we did this in class and I want you to try your best to follow along. You're going to pick a way to make a sound whether it's clapping, tapping on a table or I don't know or tapping on your lap or snapping your fingers or clinging two spoons together. Don't cling a glass, you don't want to break a glass, but try to find some way to kind of play along. And you're going to eventually pick one line or try try learning two lines. Um, this is for your enrichment, for your being a better musician and understanding the rhythm and to be able to do some of the stuff we do in class. So here's Subsonic. I, if you can print it out, it's great. If you have an iPad or a tablet that you can put on a screen, great. Cause like I, I, I'm gonna, we're gonna walk through and write on top of this. If not, follow as best as you can and just go through this video and so on. So these are four different lines. So that means like each line is a different instrument. Um, in class, we do this with different drums. Um, and so you're gonna hear different sounds for them as, as we walk through. But first I need to talk you through what these rhythms kind of sound like. So if you have a sheet of paper, and you have this printed on it, great, and follow along. If not, watch the video and then you're gonna, it'll tell you what to do. The other day we reviewed note values. And so as part of the note values, uh, we went through basically these five different note types or rests. And so um, just to quickly review, we had the whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, and sixteenth notes, and they're all worth these amounts of beats. And it was a little bit confusing because you have whole notes being four beats in total, but the quarter note is one, and the sixteenth is worth a quarter of the beat, and that starts to get really confusing fast. So one thing I like to do is attribute words sometimes to these rhythms so that um, we can internalize these words sometimes a lot faster and better um, rather than thinking about how many beats is what. So we're going to go to the top here and we're going to look at this song, Subsonic, and there's the four parts. And so I'm going to write in some words that you can attribute to these rhythms. Here's what I mean. For example, we've got quarter notes and um, I'm looking at line four here in the first bar, like bar A. And every time we see a quarter note, we're going to call that pi. So I'm going to write that here every time I see a quarter note. And so we know that with that word pi, you know, like if there was four quarter notes, it would be pi, 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 like that, one, two, three, four. Now quarter notes are easier to count, but once you start adding different types of note values, then you get some trickier things. So here's what I mean. Let's look at um, let me get a pointer here for you. So line three, and we're going to go all the way to, to um, bar B here. And so if I write in there, on, uh, we have the eighth notes in the, on beat one. So we're going to call eighth notes apple. And then there's a quarter note, pi. So that's the same word there. And then that last note is a pi. Now, what do we do here at the beat three? Okay, because this is a eighth rest and this is an eighth note. Well, apple was two eighth notes. So the second half of this beat would still be a pull. <laughs> kind of gets funny, but at the same time, you'll see that maybe we can internalize this rhythm better. Because if I start thinking in this line three here in row um, B, if I start thinking this is like one and two and three and four, one and two and four. Um, I can also say apple pie, pull pie, apple pie, pull pie, and I keep on looping that. Okay, so we can kind of remember that sentence, that sentence uh, rhythm really fast. Apple pie, pull pie, apple pie, pull pie, apple pie, pull pie, apple pie, pull pie, and so on. Like it's, it becomes faster to internalize. Okay, so let's look at some other rhythms that we have here. So line two, bar B, that's a bunch of eighth notes for a second there, so we're going to say apple, apple, and now we have this um, sp kind of special rhythm here, and that only happens in one line in one bar, and that's going to be cinnamon, so it's like apple, apple, cinnamon, apple, apple, cinnamon, okay? 
All right, we're just writing these down and then hopefully we can make sense of this soon. And on the, let's go to the top of um, bar B. So whenever we see 16th notes like that, four of them coupled together, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna write water melon. So that's like a dot, 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 because it's watermelon, 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 watermelon. While the second line is saying apple, apple, cinnamon, apple, watermelon, watermelon. Okay, so that maybe maybe we can understand that a little bit better. All right, so when it, like just like one B here, one C is doing watermelon. One or right, two C is watermelon. Three C is watermelon. So we don't have to write all those down because we kind of already have them. So let's just uh, look at a few other rhythms that we have here. In um, measure A, line one, we've got this um, two sixteenths and an eighth here. So that's going to be I can eat and then eighth notes. So it's apple, apple, pie. I can eat apple, apple, pie. I can eat apple, apple pie. And if I go faster, I can eat apple, apple pie. I can eat apple, apple pie or slower. I can eat apple, apple pie, right? So hopefully those words internalized. So if I were to read one, the whole line one, it would be, I can eat apple, apple pie, watermelon, 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 and so on. It gets hard to say watermelon that many times fast, but at least we internalize it. Okay, uh, two more bars here. Um, in line two, measure A, we've got a quarter note, so that's pi. Then we have a, like, just one eighth notes, and that's the second one, so it's pull, pi. Pi, pull, pi. Pi, pull, pi. All right, and last but not least, line three, measure A. So. We have a bunch of pulls here, right? Because it's the second, the second eighth note of each beat. So pull, 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 and then pi. So we got like pull, 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 pi. One pull, 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 pi. One. Now notice this is beat one here. So with beat one, like on the very what you call the downbeat, we don't play. It's a, it's a rest. So it's one pull, 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 pi. One pull, pull. That's called syncopation when you're not playing quite on the beat. Okay, and that's what makes things interesting. Oh, look at that. Forgotten 4A. There's the pull here. So the, if I repeat 4A over and over, it's pull, pi, two, three, four, pull, pi, two, three, four, pull, pi, and so on. So um, that is subsonic in words. And we're going to go and look at what these actually sound like with. Um, some percussion or different sounds. So if you have that subsonic sheet beside you or on another screen, um, if, um, maybe that's helpful to follow along here. But um, you can see that in this program here, I've got, I know there's a lot of buttons. Let's try to take some of them away. Um, so you don't need to worry about all the buttons. We're just looking at these four lines or, or tracks of music. and this very first bar that says line two there, if I just press play, that's just the count in so you know the speed at which you should come in. Now, each of these lines are um, the different parts. So line one on subsonic is on the top, line two is on the second line and so on. All right, so I'm gonna mute the bottom ones and we're just going to listen to that one, measure 1A, which is the I can eat apple, apple pie. Listen to it here. I can eat apple, apple pie. I can eat apple. And so on. All right, great. So that is that. Now, um, you would repeat these, and it's hard. it may be hard for you to tell, but this is starting at measure 2. So we're actually doing four times through each measure. Okay, so here's the first four, and then we'll get to this purple bar in a second, and then there's the second four, which is measure B, 
and then we'll get to the purple again and then there's another four for measure C okay so great now uh, let's just kind of mute that top one and now go to line two and this was the line for um, pi, pi pull pi pi pull pi pi pull pi pi and so on all right so you would repeat that four times let's go to line three this is the it'll sound like a triangle and this is the pull 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 pi the syncopated rhythm I was talking about pull 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 pi pull 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 pi one pull 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 pi one pull 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 pi all right so let's go to the last one line four which is it's gonna sound like a bass drum and this one gives us the 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 timing it, it keeps us in the pulse pull pi two three four pull pi two three four pull pi two three four all right so that is all four and let's listen to with the count in let's listen to the first measure all together Good. All right. Now, as I said before, we do each measure four times, but there's these kind of purpley pink uh, measures in between, and those are called transitions. So if you were playing in a drum circle, uh, there would be uh, some measures, or there would be like a transition bar in between the loops, because um, you need to kind of, well, it's for the audience and for all the musicians. So, so basically this transition indicates oh something new is coming and the transition is usually similar so we're gonna use the theme song for Mario and let's just get a uh, sound here for um, so you can kinda remember what Mario sounds like so here's the Mario um, now it does have this last thing like this right but we're not gonna use that last beat. It's just gonna be. Okay, so that's what, it, and every part would list, would, um, every part would play that. So here's what the transition sounds like. And that indicates, oh, something new is coming. So let's listen to kind of measure A four times with the count in and then the transition. Great, and then we go into line or measure B, right? So let's uh, let's do uh, measure B one at a time again. So we had the line one. That's the watermelon, 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 watermelon. Okay, great, and you keep on repeating that. Line two sounds like. Uh, that was the apple, apple, cinnamon, apple, apple, cinnamon, cinnamon, apple, apple, cinnamon. Great. And line three was our triangle, apple pie, pull pie. Apple pie, pull pie, great. And last but not least, our kick drum, bass drum. That's on beat two and four. So it's like one pie, three pie, one pie, one pie, three pie, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, all together, those four parts together sound like.
Great. And so uh, I'm going to take it, if you can see where my um, playhead is here, we're going to take it from the last bar of measure A, the last loop of it, then it's going to go to the transition, and then you'll hear how that sounds to go into the second rhythm, which is measure B. And you'll notice the transition comes up soon. Two, three, four. All right. And then we get to measure C. So let's look at that. Mute the other ones. Here's line one. It's the watermelon again. Watermelon, watermelon. Great. But then now the top three instruments are playing that. So line two is watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Line three added. Right. So those top three now are playing that. And the bass drum is now on. I'm going to mute the others and just play the bass. That bass drum is on one and three. You'll notice that the there's there's no rest on beat one, so it's one and three that they're playing. Oops, I should unmute that. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's listen to all four. And we end with a transition. Two, three, four. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Mario! Yes, all right. So um, so those are our um, three rhythms, A, B, and C, with a transition in between each one. All right, so now I want you to, you can either follow this video again, um, or I want you to try to learn your part. L choose one of the lines, like one, two, three, four, and uh, try to play along with the video that's going to be on the next slide. So the next slide is going to have a video of, of this and you just play along. So listen for the countdown and so on and then go for it.